Greyhound racing is a controversial sport involving the racing of greyhound dogs for entertainment. Many animal rights groups consider greyhound racing to be a blood sport because of its potentially abusive system of training, racing, and caring for dogs. Twelve of the United States' 18 greyhound racetracks are located in Florida, which is one of the 10 remaining states that have still not banned this horrible practice. Every one in three days, a dog dies on the Florida racetracks. They often suffer from severed toes, broken legs, spinal cord paralysis, broken necks, and cardiac arrest. In 2015, the Greyhound Advocacy Group, Grey2K USA, released the first national report on Greyhound racing in the U.S. They discovered that in the past seven years, there were 11,722 Greyhound injuries. Over the same period, there were almost 1,000 Greyhound deaths, 27 cases of cruelty and neglect, 2,200 state disciplinary rulings, and over 80,000 young Greyhounds admitted into the racing industry in the nation. There are likely more Greyhound deaths than the numbers listed, as there are no statistics about the Greyhounds that are retired and euthanized because they are injured or too slow. Not only do Greyhounds suffer on the racetracks, they are also forced to live in cramped, uncomfortable conditions. These social dogs are not given a chance to walk or play. According to the ASPCA, racing greyhounds are forced to live in kennels 20 or more hours a day or are kept in dirt pens without shelter. Most of these enclosures aren't heated or air conditioned. Some of these dogs suffer from parasites and many have been denied veterinary care, affection, and proper food. Most racing greyhounds will die before their fifth birthday, while pet greyhounds may live to be 13 or more years old. Is this a state or national issue? Greyhound racing is a state issue. Its regulations can be found in Florida's state constitution, which makes greyhound racing legal. Many casinos in Florida are even required to have greyhound races. According to the Humane Society, Florida is the only reason the nation's greyhound racing industry is hanging on. If greyhound racing was eliminated in Florida, the other states would probably soon follow. The Florida Constitution requires a commission to review the Constitution every 20 years for proposing changes. This commission is called the Florida Constitution Revision Commission, and its members are known as commissioners. The Florida Constitution Revision Commission has the power to place proposals about amendments on Florida voters' ballots. Senator Tom Lee represents Florida's District 20. He is also on the Florida Constitution Revision Commission. On October 31, 2017, Senator Tom Lee filed a proposal to amend the Florida Constitution. This new proposal, called Proposal 67, plans to add new sections to Article 10 and Article 12 of Florida's Constitution to prohibit the racing of and betting on dogs like greyhounds. It was co-introduced by two other commissioners on the Florida Constitution Revision Commission. Article 10, Miscellaneous, Prohibition on Racing of and Wagering on Greyhounds or Other Dogs. The humane treatment of animals is a fundamental value of the people of the state of Florida. After June 30th, 2020, a person authorized to conduct perimutual operations may not race greyhounds or any member of the Canis familiaris subspecies in connection with any wager for money or any other thing of value in this state. And persons in this state may not wager money or any other thing of value on the outcome of a live dog race occurring in this state. The failure to conduct greyhound racing 
or wagering on Greyhound Racing after June 30th, 2020 does not constitute grounds to revoke or deny renewal of other related gaming licenses held by a person who is a licensed Greyhound permit holder on November 6th, 2018 and does not affect the eligibility of such permit holder or such permit holder's facility to conduct other parimutuel activities authorized by general law. By general law, the legislature shall specify civil or criminal penalties for violations of this section and for activities that aid or abet violations of this section. This is from FLCRC.gov, which is the website of the Florida Constitution Revision Commission 2017 to 2018. When I started my Greyhound Rescue Group, I was instructed to not speak publicly about anything that would put the industry in a negative light, and was discouraged from even using the word rescue. Greyhound Training made it clear that if I violated this devil's bargain, I would stop receiving dogs, and they would instead be killed. Race dog owners generally lived out of state, and many never even met the Greyhounds they owned. On a daily basis, these owners would instruct trainers to get rid of dogs that had been injured or were no longer profitable. There was also a steady stream of dogs that were sent back to the farm, trucks back to breeding farms, and presumably killed. I had trainers call me in tears, begging me to take a favorite dog before it was sent back to meet a dismal fate. I have seen this industry from the inside, and it's time for it to end. With my entire heart, I urge commissioners, vote yes for the dogs on Proposal 67, and let the voters decide the fate of dogs. On Tuesday, March 20, 2018, as a result of the voices of people like Sonia Straitman, who spoke out for the animals, the Constitution Revision Commission finally approved Proposal 67 in an 18-14 to 14 vote. Proposal 67 is now in the Style and Drafting Committee. This committee drafts the official amendments that will revise the Florida Constitution for ballot preparation. If at least 22 out of the 36 members of the Style and Drafting Committee vote yes on Proposal 67, the amendment will be on Florida voters' ballots in November.